So Got the it. question was, ready? Mm -hmm. okay. So the question was with Mr. Thomas was, um, on our Bermuda greens, we get a very slick putt from about three feet. Mr. Thomas feels like he can't even hit a full putt to get that ball where he needs it. So he feels like he's either taking a long, kind of very slow stroke, and it kind of gets offline. So even though that one went in, it kind of wiggled on me into the hole, right? Or we're taking a very quick, and it kind of gets offline and starts to wiggle on us. And so one thing that I like to do is to hit kind of what I call a dead putt. So on the slow, or the quick, sorry, the very quick putts downhill that move a lot, I'll tend to line them up on the toe. So the middle of our putter is kind of our sweet spot, our hot spot. So if we hit it on the toe, where there's not as much um, uh, MOI, not, not as much um, density at impact, hit it on the toe where it's a little bit deader, and the toe will tend to kind of give a little bit more than the center, where these toe and the heel move through the ball, whereas the toe, if we hit it on the toe, it's going to kind of give a little bit. So I tend to kind of aim these on the toe, and kind of hit these on the toe. You saw that one rolled much truer. So on the short downhill ones, aim on the toe in order to deaden the ball a little bit. Yeah, you can, so, you can, so you can make a longer stroke so as a result. Correct. So you can still make a full stroke or what you think is a solid stroke at the golf ball without 